Hello! It's been a while since I've done one of these, hasn't it? For those of you who don't know, in 2018, I did a few videos of me and some animator friends of mine reacting to cringy old episodes of A Brief History. Here's a couple highlights from those. Why did I say that? <laughs> Was that Lucifer? I have to pee. Adam. Ooh, what's in that forest, Logan? I pull a knife on him. Oh my god! What fun, what fun. Well, I feel like it's been long enough since I horribly embarrassed myself in front of my friends, so joining me this time are Ginger Pale. Hello. Emery Chu. Hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Illimation. Hi. But real quick before we dive into this cringe, since we're looking at some old episodes of A Brief History, I feel there's no better time to let you guys know that we have another new shirt up for sale in the foot of a ferret store. And guess what? I'm already wearing it! That's right, the shirt my character's been wearing in every single video since August is now real. Like, it's composed of atoms and molecules and you can like hold it and wear it and stuff. There is no better way to rep your favorite show that talks about your other favorite shows. And you can get one right now by heading to creatorink.com slash foot of a ferret or by clicking the very top link in the video description. But you gotta act fast. These will only be up for sale until Saturday, November 30th. After that, we're gonna have to cut it off in order to get them out in time for the holidays. So definitely get one while you can. Oh, and uh, that reminds me, the Foot of a Ferret Ugly Holiday Sweater shirts are also still available, but again, only for a limited time. So head on over to the store, linked in the description to check it out. And with that, let's get to what you guys came here for, my embarrassing old videos. Ugh. Are we gonna do the big clap? Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Did those work? Clap time? I mean... Wait, do we do we clap on three or after three? One, two, three, clap. Okay. One, two, three. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. I'm a streamy award-winning editor. I'll figure it out. <laughs> oh, dead mama. Yeah. Cool. With the uh, theorists. Oh, oh learn something new every day. I have a trophy. Mama. I'm a, I'm a family-friendly channel. I'm gonna have to censor all that. <laughs> but what do you mean by family? What do you friendly? mean? Uh, um, older families, old families, retirement home families. My target <laughs> demographic is 79-year-olds who eat pudding. <laughs> I've done a couple of these before, and we've always reacted to old episodes of A Brief History from like 2013, which was the first year that it was around. Ooh. I want to go back even further this time. Oh, okay. Let's take it back. We're still going to react to some 2013 Brief Histories, but I want to react to my first ever YouTube video on the Foot of a Ferret channel. I'm impressed that you're like willing to sit through that, because I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't either. But I deleted my first video. Really? Yes. <laughs> and it's it's. What was it? Tell us. Tell us in excruciating detail what it was. It was called this. Soup mama. At Staples. <laughs> 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 Why did you delete that? So we're gonna start with my very first video. Context! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Wait a sec. Look at me! You got tater tots in those pockets? <laughs> I really, I really, I really thought you couldn't get any whiter, right? <laughs> 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 oh no. Emily turned her little burner up to like high. <laughs> she turned it to a royal. <laughs> so, first frame, lot to unpack. I'm going to willing to guess that I didn't even shower before starting <laughs> recording this Wait, video. Wait, how old were you here? This is 2010, which means I would have been 14, maybe? Oh, you're so tall. I had a growth spurt in like seventh grade that took me from this chubby little pudge nerd who was short. Who was short. <laughs> <laughs> to this decently tall dude that like got super scrawny super fast as this video progresses. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what happens, I'm just gonna let you watch. Okay, here we go. Hello every peoples, my name is Ryder Bergen, and this is going. This is my first video on my channel. I like the music. <laughs> <laughs> the music is copyrighted. <gasps> it's a Kiss song from the 80s. I hate the music. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Somehow this video is not, uh, is still monetized. It has a copyrighted song playing throughout its entirety. I'll flag it, I'll flag it, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to, I've been planning on this for a while. I am now going to start vlogging. If you don't know what that is, that's just blogging in video form, video blogging, therefore vlogging in short form. Wait, can we pause? What's vlogging? <laughs> Why did it go sideways? <laughs> what does that mean? 
<laughs> it's vlogging, Emily. <laughs> it's blogging in it's blogging in video form. Duh. All right. In 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 writer's defense, it was 2010. Ex- that was exactly what I was gonna say. Is 2010, and YouTube had only started five years ago. <laughs> so did writer invent vlogging? Yeah. Yes. In these videos, I'm going to do, be doing a bunch of things relating to music, mainly. What? <laughs> <laughs> Were you just messing around with the? What? Right in the fall. <laughs> Wait, were you just like messing around with the with the editing? What is happening? Yes. <laughs> were you a film major? Because this is kind of indie. I like it. <laughs> is, is this the one you got the streamy for? <laughs> yes, of course. But I I was just sitting around messing with the editing software and was like, oh, you can like do stuff with it, and so I just did everything with it. Did you ever learn how to use the undo button? Because I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever learn how to delete your channel? Oh my god. <laughs> what did you say? I can subscribe. I said head on over and subscribe. Oh. And this was back in the day of Fred dominating the scene. Oh. So oh chipmunk god. chipmunk voices were all the rage. I'm gonna get oh. It's fake! It's fake! Whoa! The epic replay it and slow it down. Ah! It's the worst! <laughs> Just holding on to that carrot. Uh, where was the carrot? Where was it? <laughs> my assumption was that it was just either sitting on the ground because my room is a mess. Did you just have a carrot lying around? Well, it was a fake carrot. Oh, that was fake? Yeah. Hold on. Devin, did you see my did you see my girthy carrot? Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Oh, that's the best sentence you've ever said. <laughs> Post a comment giving me suggestions on what I should do for my next videos. Play amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a good move to make in 2010. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and welcome back to Amnesia. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, yeah. My name is Ryder Bergen. Vote for Pedro. Out. Wait, that was it? There it goes. It was only like a minute long. Remember, this was 2010. The longest videos uploaded in 2010 were like five minutes. <laughs> Unrelated to this, you ever have like a conversation with someone who's like a few years older than you and they're like, I'm almost 30. <laughs> and you're like, whoa. Oh. That means I'm almost 30. <laughs> no, I don't. Because if they're a few years older than me, they're usually not almost 30. <laughs> <laughs> <Hey>! <laughs> <laughs> that was my thing. I was like, oh man, I was 22 last year. I'm 23 now. I'm going to be 24. Wait. Yeah! Then I'm going to be 25. Then I'm going to die. <laughs> I looked up the average life expectancy for diabetics and it's like 66. I'm like, oh, great. Now I know when it's going to happen. <laughs> Billy just dropped a message. I'm, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go grab a brownie real quick. <laughs> I know we're recording, but I just. I just so on it. She hasn't even left. <laughs> Diabetes, I'm like, oh, I feel like eating a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. This is the Rhett and Link brief history, the first one. I've done another one since that's way better. So, this Rhett and Link video got copyright claimed. Wait, does that mean if we d- react to it, you're gonna get copyright claimed on this video? Not if we are k- very quiet about it. <laughs> okay, just, <laughs> don't tell anybody. Guys, sh- 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 secret. Hello and welcome to another episode of A Brief History. Today's episode, Rhett and Link. Ready, set, go. North Carolina, 2006. Lifelong friends Rhett McLaughlin and Link Neal discover the medium of online video and in doing so, begin one of the longest histories of any YouTube channel, period. They posted songs and podcasts fairly regularly. For- See, look, look, look at the bottom corner. It's like old GM it's like Good Mythical oh, Morning yeah, in yeah. like wow. 2007. They've been doing that stuff forever. They look like your RAs in college. They <laughs> do. Until one day in 2007 when they essentially struck viral gold. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I really wish there was a way through text to convey exactly the cadence you just said that with. <laughs> I want that textualized and put on a t-shirt. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. It just, it, like, the text gets smaller. <laughs> <laughs> All right. During the TV show's run, their YouTube channel maintained the status quo. Okay, what I, would, what I was doing back in the day was I didn't know how to edit, period. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> End of sentence. So, so But like, you could with... flip it upside down and... <laughs> Songs and vlogs were uploaded on a regular basis with the occasional viral smash. Dropping viral vids like hell. Oh my, oh god. my god. <laughs> it's so 2010s. I was uh, just going to let that one go. Nah, nah. I mean, th- as, th- as much as this is supposed to be you guys roasting me, 
I'm gonna roast myself a little bit. <laughs> that wasn't a thing people said. Dropping viral vids like hail. Yeah, I don't. Is that like a North Carolina thing? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's an anyone thing. Like, oh, let's take a step back. Is that a white people thing? Probably. <laughs> is that a white people thing? Healthy choices drive through rap. But by the end of 2007. Oh, I'm Jesus. I'm Oh, and Jesus. Okay, wait, question. Was this like. The, was this happening during the year where like the the like random like spork yeah the, the humor was like on the rise oh probably probably oh like, no oh yes oh. we are children of the random era so yeah oh no <laughs> Devin's having non flashbacks to like middle school when people would draw mustaches on their fingers. I just remembered all the things, all the things I found funny. I'm like, oh no. Singing the narwhal song and <laughs> making jokes about waffles. <laughs> okay, listen, people are, people on Tumblr, because I'm, I'm hip on Tumblr, people on Tumblr are saying that 2020s will be the roaring 20s. W A. No, stop oh, it! Because, because oh, listen, because cringe culture is dead. And it's and so Rower is gonna come back. The Rower. I'm just 20s. throwing it out there right now. It's the Rowering Twenties. <laughs> okay, that's gross. But also, what's Tumblr? You gotta do a brief history on, on Tumblr, dude. Okay, sorry. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Back to what matters. Suddenly, I'm feeling very old. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe I shouldn't be on the internet anymore. <laughs> now it's important to keep in mind that at this time, making money off of YouTube was not an established idea. The partnership program did not even exist yet. So Retinlink's only option for making money off of YouTube. I know there are a lot of people who absolutely hate this word. So those of you who do have been warned. Is it moist? <laughs> is it phlegm? <laughs> this is going to be super indicative of me not knowing how YouTube worked, as well as 2013 just being a completely different time. Was through sponsorship. Sponsorship. <gasps> oh, wow. This video is sponsored by SeatGeek. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Oh, no. But uh, seriously, listen, listen to what I say. And many YouTubers who make sponsored videos are so blatantly crass with their product placement that it's hardly enjoyable. I threw serious shade at Buck because I didn't- That's so mean. What a shady little shade. Soup mama. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, come at me, bro. I think your sponsorship are crass and unenjoyable. <laughs> Sponsorship? More like sponsor. Soup mom. Stop! Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> now I have to like bleep that with something that doesn't sound like a bleep because bleeps count as swears. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube is weird. <laughs> <laughs> what started out as a series of spoofs soon turned into a viral sensation as well as a way to promote real businesses that truly benefit from the experience. Early local commercials of note include the Red House. The Red House. At the Red House. Where black people and white people buy furniture. Okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't sure where you were going with that. That wasn't me. That was the Rhett and Link video. Oh, yeah, sorry. I remember seeing that and being like, wait. Oh. Oh, it's a classic. Oh, it's just a classic. What about if you're not black, white, or Hispanic? They say all people. The white guy says, and all people. Where's my Asian representation? Sorry, um, <laughs> um, Emily, you're not allowed inside the Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm really curious if the Red House still exists. I think they said it was in like High Point, North Carolina or something like that. Oh my God, I can go there. <laughs> Let's go there. Yes. Ryder, That's what we're we'll... going to go to the Red House. Yes. <laughs> and we can buy furniture. Sure. These online local commercials became so popular that Rhett and Link were eventually given an IFC television series. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Chuck Testo. Writer. Yes? <laughs> I, I know this is supposed to be cringe, but I'm really enjoying this brief history, like the way that it's going, and I think you should bring it back. Hey, everyone watching this video, drop a like on this video if this is the format you'd like to see again. <laughs> September. September. The September of Soup. Soup. Mama. <laughs> what did you, wait, what? <laughs> what did you say? Do it again. Continue. <laughs> what did you say? Soup. Mama. What? what is that? <laughs> wait, wait. When you when we curse, you have to use that. <laughs> you have to speed it up a little. Soup, mama. Soup, like, mama. Soup. That, I thought you were doing like a Mario voice or something. Me too. <laughs> yeah, it's the Mario thing where they just mix up the Super Mario, so it's like Soup, <laughs> mama. <laughs> Before in my life. What are you crazy? Wait, wait, do it again. Soup. Mama. Soup. Mama. I'm crying. I'm literally I can't crying. believe this. I'm crying. Okay. Thank you. 
thing you do. You... Like Mario sounds like an incredible pain in it. <laughs> <laughs> This experimental contest was a smash success. Whoa, okay, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. What am I looking at? The sky is fake. Yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, what? it looks- What? Why? Why are the trees real but the sky is fake? Cause I wanted to edit. <laughs> Wait, you put that in? What? Yeah. <laughs> what was the other sky? It was just white and I thought, that looks boring. <laughs> and has since become a biennial YouTube event. Oh, I did it again! I did it again! It looks so bad! That one looks worse! One year later in 2010, Rhett and Link teamed up with Mystery Guitar Man to create their now classic stop motion video, T-Shirt War, a video that was so successful that a sequel was later developed as a TV commercial for McDonald's. Oh, I remember this. Yeah. Whoa. See, they then made it into a commercial for McDonald's. And I don't know, but I'm blaming it for getting this video copyright claimed. <laughs> That's valid. Yeah, I mean, there's the only one, these were the only videos that got it. Some videos randomly got copyright claimed for no reason, and I still don't know what happened there, but. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, have I ever shown you multi-farting? <laughs> What? I would not like to see that. Like, you know how some people fart, like, with their, they do the noise with their lips, like, or. I do it with uh, my teeth and, like, air, so it's like. But. I've got it to like, I can do the two sides of my mouth individually. So it's like. <laughs> what? That's, a, that's like a really good like running sound effect when person's like feet are squishing on the ground. A weekly 30 minute long culmination of everything they've done since their beginnings called The Mythical Show. The Mythical, the Mythical, the Mythical Show. Aww. It's hard to say. The Mythical Show. The Mythical Show. Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> and this one, surprise, surprise, great times, is the brief history of the annoying orange. Aww, little citrus man. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, Danebo is a sweetheart. He man, is! Looking back on it now, it's like... Wow, I definitely was like nine when I watched that. I, yeah, I remember showing that to my mom being like, this is comedy. I want this. <laughs> Y'all remember Apple? <laughs> Man, rest in peace, Apple. <laughs> I remember everyone at school being like, hey, Apple. Hey, oh, hey. that was me. That was me. And I do my oh. annoying orange impression in this video. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my uh, God. Oh, my God. Okay, kid play. Hello and welcome to yet another two-in-one episode. Uh... <laughs> I, don't like, I don't like that scene. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I gotta take a quick little screenshot and then make something. All right. What? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. I'm very scared. I'm very scared. No, don't be scared. Don't be scared. This will take like two seconds. Just like. <laughs> what did you why? do? Why did you do it? And why is it there? I just, it just it looked weird smiling. It didn't look right. All right. I'm going to tell you what that face sounds like to me. Please. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's going, soup mama. <laughs> soup mama. Oh my God. Soup mama. Give me citrus. Give me citrus. I crave citrus. <laughs> he's going, hey, apple. <laughs> Hold on a minute. <laughs> Crave the citrus, father. The success of these videos helped launch Dane's ascent into one of the weirdest and most. Mon mon What? <laughs> that was a thing in Old Brief Histories. Like, I used to just really goof around when I messed up, and I just left it in. <laughs> Which is the way to go. You don't do that anymore? I don't do it a ton anymore, because when I mess up, I'm just like, dang. He just doesn't mess up anymore. He's <laughs> just too good at his job now. You know, I'm just perfect now, you know? Dame began producing sketches for Jib Jab in addition to his YouTube channel. Which Yo, I remember! Jib Jab! Oh my god. Aw, oh, man. Oh, dude, I loved Jib Jab. That takes me back to the Bush administration. <laughs> YouTube channel, which continued pumping out viral hits such as Scariest Faces. Ah, ah. Uh, oh, wait, that was scary. Ah. The Annoying Orange was an immediate success, amassing a current total of 138 million views. Hey! Hey! Hey, you! Hey, you! Can you do this? No, 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 <laughs> Motorboat! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! I like the editing. <laughs> Wait, he went upside down. That's how you know Ryder edited. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know Becca obviously is very close with the Annoying Orange crew. I got in an Uber with her and Danebo a couple VidCons ago, and Becca just goes, you know, Ryder. <laughs> oh no! 
can do a pretty solid annoying orange impression. I'm like, Becca, stop! Becca, stop! <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. Becca's like, let's create some cringe. And- <laughs> oh, no. I don't know what he actually thought about it, but he was like, man, now I know who to call if I ever die. <laughs> oh, my God. Every week, the Orange would annoy the crap out of different foods voiced by special guests that included Smosh, Shay Carl, Joe Beretta, Tobuscus, and even one of my favorite modern bands, Weezer. Woo! That's a lot of words! <laughs> That's good. That's a lot of words. That's good. Weezer did a voice for that? Yeah, there was a there was a period in 2010 where Weezer was making a lot of appearances on YouTube to promote their album, Hurley. They were on The Annoying Orange. They were in a Shmo Yoho auto-tune the news video. They were in a Fred video. And, wow. like, the clip of Fred going, oh! has been like (laughs) circulating on Twitter recently. (laughs) You should do a brief history on Fred. I'm sorry, I'm just like telling you what to do with your chin. This is peak white culture. (laughs) (laughs) And they say we don't have culture. (laughs) (laughs) Some of these special guests became recurring main characters such as I Justine's character Passion Fruit, Bob Jens's Grapefruit, and Kevin Bruick's Grandpa Lemon. With a regular cast in hand- I remember the marshmallow. Why are they so terrifying? (laughs) Look at the Passion Fruit. I like the grapefruit. <laughs> I like that marshmallow. This is the cast. Why is it so scary? All right, tag yourself, uh, Emily. I think you're the little, the little purple apple. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's orange, grandpa lemon, pear, uh, grapefruit, passion fruit. I think he's called little apple. And then there's just marsh, marshy or marshmallow or whatever. I'm learning. Then you're. Doing it right! <laughs> God, sorry. <laughs> and the High Fructose Adventures of the Annoying Orange premiered on Cartoon Network on June 11th, 2012. Now you've seen this kind of thing before. A YouTube show based on being annoying becomes unexpectedly popular and eventually gets turned into a TV show. And what happened? The show failed almost immediately and their YouTube channel died along with their reputation, not naming any names, of course. Hey, it's Fred! Wow! The shade shade upon your own culture. Excuse me? I was throwing serious shade at Fred. Dude. In 2013. He did nothing to you. (laughs) All he did was put the R backwards. That's it. Jeez. (laughs) Dude, Ryder Ryder was channeling. I'm telling you, Ryder was ahead of his time. He was like a T spell channel before T spell channels were a thing. (gasps) Oh, God. (laughs) Stop it. Stop it. (laughs) Foot of a ferret. Uh, We got to rebrand. Really digging into him. (laughs) (laughs) See, that's the thing. I didn't even hate Fred. I don't know why I did that. (laughs) You just felt spicy. It's because he's a Sagittarius. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what that means. (laughs) You're a fire sign. (laughs) That's all. (laughs) I'm confused. (laughs) Pretty successful, having inspired mountains of merchandise, including t-shirts, kids' books, Halloween costumes, masks, candy, and even a line of talking figurines. Oh, God. Look at it. That is unsettling. Ew. Look at that face. Does the mouth move? No. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> but it has like a button on it, and when you press it, there's like this really like bit crush compressed. Hey! Hey Apple! Hey Apple, hey! Ew. That, it's so I don't like the mask. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't like it. I really don't like that. Three years before the release of the annoying orange, Fargo advertising company H2M had created their own talking orange character and viewed Dane's character as an infringement of their copyright. H2M took this issue to court, but the ruling is unknown and it's very likely that no verdict was ever reached. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, cool see cool it's cool. This video is cool. <laughs> I like the Kool-Aid man. Yeah, that's one from one of his old like video series. It was called Kool-Aid Killer, and the Kool-Aid man would bust in through the wall and go, oh yeah, and then he would kill you. I gotta say what's crazy about this is like, I mean, I know this is supposed to be like cringe fest, but it, it, some of it was. <laughs> but some of it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't It wasn't nearly as bad as you made it sound like it was gonna be. This is, yeah. Okay, well, that's because... He's a Sagittarius. He's a nervous boy. I mean, that's accurate. That That's kind of the nail on the head. So... Thank you guys so much for joining me for this reaction extravaganza. Of course. Thank you for having us. Thank you to all of you guys for watching. I will link to all of their channels in the end screen. And until next time. Can you do that? Yeah. All of them? Whoa. Yeah. You'll credit the artist? (laughs) I'm kidding. (laughs) (laughs) All right, cut. All right.